the guest. Oh my god. Scrying and creamy. Scrying and creamy. Yeah. Scrying and creamy. Didn't I do that like two weeks ago too? Divining the future and ejaculation. There are two great things that go great together. Uh yes yeah, man. Uh, yes, man. Listen, um you feel free to tell me no at any moment. Yes. I I'm, I know that's not traditionally your word. We've been keeping a secret. Can we acknowledge that we've been keeping a secret? That's as far as I'm going. Okay, I lied. Can we go just a little bit farther? Uh, father, <laughs> uh, it's crying and creaming. <laughs> Can we admit that our father has been crying and creaming? Yes. <laughs> Can, can we admit that our secret is a very good secret? That's all I want to. Oh, that, that's as far as I want to really go. Really can't be doing I just, this. I just, this I, is I, dangerous. No, no, no. That's that's the end. That's the end of the universe. Oh, fucking. Mm. That's dangerous. You know that's dangerous. All right, hello everybody. It's the end of the show. After show, let's take a look at nightattack.showbot.tv and let's see what we name this tire fire. Uh, oh, scrying, it's got to be scrying. The scrying and cooing is pretty good. <laughs> so good. Submitted by Ballwasher69 here on the <laughs> on the show, but uh, we got dedicated to Edward <laughs> Snowden. Dedicated to Edward Snowden. Ashley <laughs> applies for Croatian good. citizenship. It sounds That's... like a joke, but it's very good. But it's it's for real. She's actually doing it. Is actually doing it. Uh, winter is coming. Can we redo this episode? <laughs> no, no, absolutely Nowhere not. Come. Jexit, mm. uh, just didn't exit. I guess. Oh, oh I was thinking like Jackson. I'm, I'm moving. J- J- uh, yeah, I thought it was just yeah. a jacket. Up. We're going to Jackson. <laughs> uh, working towards diplomatic immunity. Uh, Brian cries on camera. Justin takes his pants off. I don't remember that. Uh, yeah. Michigan. Well, Brian end. cried on camera. He did yeah. do that. Uh, yeah, but also my pants were off, so technically I did yeah. both. How am I supposed to follow that up? Cry, robot, cry. <laughs> where, are you, where are you from, Michigan man? <laughs> Safetyville, USA. I also, uh, on on the Safetyville, USA thing, I just want to point everyone's attention over here to this Wikipedia page. <laughs> oh, my God. For um, a miniature city that is located in Sacramento, California, called Safetyville, USA. Oh, shit. Oh. Here we go. Uh, some more showbits uh, here. On the first night of Splissmas. Splissmas. Not bad. Kalamazoo, the ass crack of Michigan. Uh, these these ropes are for you. This one goes out. Uh, tw- this one goes out. It's pretty good. 21 come salute. Dip- <laughs> diplomat. I don't need to do that. Was that a thing said or is that just a random funny no, thing that I see you be, had? It's a uh, tribute. It's fun uh, although that, by the way, that seems the most like a Bryce tweet. <laughs> Just uh, out of apropos of nothing, out of context, twenty one comes salute. You know what? That's a good. That's a good idea, Justin. Let me go. Hit, let God me damn hit. it! I know you will. You will actually tweet. Ah. All right, everybody. Um, you're a snizzard, Harry. No. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Brian's afraid. Uh, Bryce. You oh, game. fuck you. Fuck you. No. I feel feelings sometimes. It turns out I'm human. No one is. I'm not a robot like some people who say, oh, <laughs> may. Oh, my. <laughs> That's right. It was a good robot impression from the movie I know a lot it about. Was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a game in here somewhere. Um, I'm glad someone's mom is watching us for the uh, Captain Fubar. Please let us know if your mom is still watching. Was that this. for real? Yeah, or, or were you just were you just jerking jerking us around? Uh, long distance dedication. <laughs> Dedicated jaunty jerk. This one goes out to the jaunty jerk. Um, wavy gravy. <laughs> Ryan the scrum. balls are as cold as. The block the block That's right. Oh, that was the real thing that Bryce said. <laughs> that was a real one. The Adventures uh, of Abacus. Man. No, it wasn't. It was just Abacus Man. It's a serious movie. 
<laughs> about abacus man, someone stealing my crane. About somebody stealing his crane. <laughs> abacus man from an abacus land. Oh god. Counting up on my crane. Migra a lot of people for some reason had a strong reaction to you saying megrams, and I didn't understand it because I know what megrams are. You do or don't? I do. You I've do. heard the word, but yeah. it seemed like many of the people who are joining us tonight did not. Did not. Um <laughs> Prices Mountain Dew heroin addiction. <laughs> that was kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the top here. Thank you, everybody, for all your show titles. Self doxing. I, I think scrying and creaming is. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's a slam dunk. And it kind of goes with the whole of the episode, not even just the one bit. All right, well, thank you to Ballwasher69 and everyone who submits show titles over. Uh, uh, in the chat using the bang ass command, I'm just gonna go here and hit retweet from the night. <laughs> 21 come <laughs> saloon. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna write an email very quickly. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, God damn it. Uh, Brian. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, by the way, you know, there's a new course on Walkabout. What? New course. I've Space heard course. Space Corps. Wait, space? Space. Does gravity change? N there, there are some surfaces where things speed up, but there's no like gravity. There, there are a few. There's one hole where you're like, you're because it's putt putt, right? You're not like yeah doing any chips. No, you're not doing any chips. That's a common phrase. Well, that would be <laughs> good in the air. There's no gravitas to. Uh. Um, but yeah, no, I'm pumped to play with you because I played it yesterday and it was great. It's um, hard. I have not yet experienced the actual, you know, putt putt karma. Uh, is it good? Oh, I haven't played with it yet. I, I I told you before I didn't have the right uh, tool for it because we're like in a half-packed situation, you know. Hmm. How much did uh, how much did that little I don't know that that little tennis ball catcher run you? Um, I think like uh, bucks? Thir thirty-five because like like uh, I guess it's three D printed. You said right? Yeah. Uh, well, well, really, the only three D printed part is this you know tidbit at the end mm -hmm. uh everything else is just like off the shelf uh uh putter material mm -hmm. i see uh so is it gonna be like weeks before we putt putt again no no we should be able to putt putt i, I we are in a bit of a space crunch right now because like my my area that i would normally have for it is currently uh, a pack of boxes, but I can find a place. I can, to be totally honest, what I really should do is, uh, uh, because uh, the Bay Area continues to empty out, my entire wing of this uh, apartment building is empty and all the doors are open. So I should literally just walk into an empty apartment and play putt putt. I, I thought I heard some kind of shenanigan where it's like, uh, like if you have a, a sofa couch or whatever, it'll just, um, uh, there's a new thing where it'll just like integrate that into the story. Like, 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 like suddenly there's just a couch and it's your couch that you can sit on. I don't know if that's true or not. Like I'm sure in some games, I mean, that would make sense if you were to just create obstacles. So you would walk well, away I, from I, it or I, stay away from it. Uh, I thought it was like at a, uh, a, an OS level, like, like, like across everything oh. where it's like, like, maybe so you wouldn't follow or follow everything is that just an extension of the guidance grid where you walk too close to the wall and it says whoop well there are objects here right now like uh like here there's enough room for me to sketch out a big old area but when okay. i go home uh it's like i'll sketch out the area and it, it'll push back saying like um it seems like there's an awful lot of what we like to call objects in your play area are you 100 percent? you know are you all the way in on this and it's like mm -hmm. uh yep nope totally and then i bump in, into things and it's dumb so uh, uh, uh <laughs> the idea being you know whatever uh shit that's hard to move just gets integrated into the environment 
as an as an upcoming thing you're saying uh possibly already done from what i heard i don't know oh okay interesting yeah i i don't you know more about all the vr stuff than i do uh, I did successfully uh, connect the quest to uh, uh, like like I I successfully played Half Life Alex uh, via Steam mm-hmm. on the quest, which was cool. Hey, oh, you- how was uh, how was was how did it compare to the Vive? Um, um, it slightly less than simply because. Um, you're you're sort of trapped like like on the one hand you only have the one cord but on the other hand it's only you know 10 feet long and so you're sort of stuck in the one place whereas at least with the vive you're accustomed to you know knowing how far you can yeah. run around and all of that stuff god i i uh, I, I, I really think you'll love half-life alex it's it's the best game like it is the most immersive like there are things that game did that i had never experienced before um like shooting well specifically there are a lot of games where a bad predator is hunting you and you have to hide and duck and jump and you know do all that stuff i've never ever experienced being the one hunting it and uh uh specifically like like you know crouching down peeking around a corner trying to see the thing uh, hiding dragons uh, yes yes uh you will enjoy it you will enjoy it and and, and, and well, it sounds like a threat jeez you will <laughs> you, you will enjoy, enjoy it, it. You keep t- telling me, warning me away from Austin and, and threatening me with Half Life Alex. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I mean, suffice to say, uh, number one, I'm very, very, very excited about you coming uh, to Texas. Uh, also, I feel like. I don't want to accidentally speak our secret, so I keep. I, yes, definitely, I would prefer you to not do that. Not yeah. do that. Uh, I really, it's going to be a lot of fun. This level Justin of conversation right. on it is making me uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, hey, anyway, uh, hey, uh, who likes fucking uh, 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 Eddie Murphy? Man, coming to America, funny as the first. I don't think so. Uh, Siskel says. Sorry, I'm dead. Uh, no sale. <laughs> Ebert says, uh, me too. Uh, uh, Eddie Murphy says, what the hell am I doing in this movie? I thought I already made Eddie it. Eddie Murphy says, I may also be dead. You'll never know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting deep faked on um, uh, somebody else. I was I- really surprised at, at all of the buzz that Borat got because between you, me, and the wall, that was not a great movie. You're you're talking that, one? about it winning yeah. the globe and the global oh, the, the golden the, the, the you can't, can't keep going keep going the Josh Groban award <laughs> is just it. the big yeah, Groban Josh Groban big constantly Groban Groban comes out grabbing his, Groban yeah old grabbing Groban he grabs the movies he loves the most and and uh, announces and he them said, hey you know I, I really like Borat this year so I'm gonna get grab, the grabbing Groban is going to yeah. Borat. The Grabbing Groban! <laughs> he sings. He's got a soaring voice, you know, old Josh Groban, man. He grabs whatever he mm. loves, though. He, he makes an award about <laughs> it. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Up, I'm grabbing Groban. <laughs> he sings this every category while yeah. Sasha Baron Cohen's coming yeah. up on stage and he's he's just kind of standing there. He's not. He doesn't have anything prepared and Groban just goes out and grabs him grabs ceremonially him. yeah and then everyone ah, a, very, a very a very a very workmanlike grab yeah yeah, yeah. a perfunctory yeah. grab yeah. um <laughs> his acceptance speech was i'm like the state of michigan only i grab <laughs> no only i grab only i grab i only state grab michigan Bullshit, always open. Not me. I'm grabbing, baby. I'm grabbing. <laughs> That's exactly where I was headed. 
I'm going to so go sorry. from Michigan to Iowa real fucking quick, my man. <laughs> hey, man, you people want to know how I got this award? I'll give you a hint. It was see Michigan how I won this position. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, Borat 2. Well, Borat 2 had the daughter. The daughter was really the best part of, of Borat 2. She, she was, was hilarious. Great. Everything uh, else was garbage. I think the rest of the movie, and I feel like this is kind of the same. I haven't seen Coming to America, the sequel, but like. I kind of feel like I don't know while I can appreciate the philosophical underpinnings to it. I don't really know how much I want to see my comedy movies reckon with the fact that they were culturally inappropriate in a, a, a short period of time ago. Like let them be that. If you want to bring them back, then try to figure out a way that you can capture some of whatever energy you can, but you don't need to apologize for it. And I feel like, Certainly Borat, when Borat ends with Kazakhstan not being anti-Semitic anymore and just hating America, you're like, that's, look, part of the point that we bafflingly laughed at this character for as long was because you were doing something like really mean. It was like the closest thing, the furthest place we had chased the hillbilly archetype was all the way to Kazakhstan and he was doing it and it was funny and I, I i feel like that's like a lot of these kind of reboots are they have to wrestle with the idea of like no we need to also apologize for what happened in the past right. and that's like well okay it's not really funny but that's where that passage comes from uh and low upon reaching kazakhstan borat wept for there were no more worlds to mock there were no more anti-semitic jokes to make yes uh Kuhan actually points out something that is for real. Have you been following the Space Jam thing, speaking about this topic? No. So, uh, apparently, uh, I don't know what order to, to do these in. Number one, all right, we'll do Lola Bunny first. So, the Lady Bunny from Space Jam, the original Space Jam, they have uh, uh, decided to redesign her. So she's, uh, she's not sexier or less sexy, less, less sexy. sexy. She's a little less stacked. Um, Sorry. Did you say less sexy and then show that picture? Uh, no, well, that was the original, the original one. one. Oh, okay. As, oh yeah. She's a little, she's a little, uh, her chest has been down. Downgraded. Sized. sized yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, she does not look like an adult, which is, no, she's a rabbit. Mm, no, uh, <laughs> right. Well, the the, uh, the word from the creators were that they wanted to make her look have the build of a female basketball player. You know, like Bugs Bunny has the build of a male <laughs> basketball player. He does. Yeah. Um, it's got the attitude. So, uh, uh, attitude. The other issue is that. Somebody who will not be appearing in this movie at all because he's been cut is Pepe Le Pew. And apparently that will be the case because there was a scene in the movie where LeBron James, who is in the Michael Jordan role of this version, taught Pepe Le Pew about consent. Pepe was set it to appear in a black and white Casablanca like Rick's Cafe sequence. Pepe. Playing the bartender starts hitting on a woman at the bar played by Santo. He begins his kissing her arm, which she pulls back, then slamming Pepe into the chair next to her. She then pours her drink on Pepe and slams him hard, sending him spinning on a stool, which is stopped by LeBron James's hand. James and Bugs Bunny are looking for Lola, and Pepe knows her whereabouts. Pepe then tells the guys that Penelope Cat has filed a restraining order against him. James uh, makes a remark in the script that Pepe can't grab other Looney Tunes without their consent. So that was shot and not edited. And, or not animated, rather. And it was removed because... Because it sounds fucking awful. And, and like, it's probably better that they cut it. It's 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 weird that it's leaking out. Uh, but it just... Uh, the, 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 uh, yeah. Supposedly, this cut came after the New York Times article thing from a, a week or two ago. I believe gynecologists call it the kindest cut. It's an episiotomy joke. It's okay. Shoo, I know yeah. the I know cum jokes. If you talk about cut and cum, yeah. 
You know, imagine a little like a little credit card. Miravina thought it was funny. That's all I care about. That's fine. Then, then I'm there with you. Um. But yeah, yeah Pepe we, Le Pew, man. It, it seems What's very. Up? What about that? It seems I, the uh, Space Jam Two. Just in general, how are you feeling on Space Jam Two? Because it seems like, like now they're putting out like screen clips and little bits of footage, but. I feel like they've been very, very mum about this movie that they've been filming for like 10 years. Probably because it sucks ass and they're scared of it because the only, like the, the charm of Space Jam 1 was that it was a reckless horseshit, kids are stupid cash grab, right? And yet it, actually was fun and it had an iconic soundtrack that they're certainly not going to be able to mention because of who did it um and so now it's like all right let's remove the fact that corporations can't even be cynical soulless entertainment providers anymore like now they all have to have souls and and comport with society so you can't even just have warner brothers saying like Fuck it. Put the cartoons in with the basketball man. Like, have have somebody on our record label sing the song. Money for me. It's got to be like, no, Lola Bunny is now look, looks like Deanna Taurasi. And Pepe Le Pew has to learn some lessons and 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 all these things. So it's like, I'm not saying that that's wrong, that it's, wrong, that it's, it, it's a bad idea. I'm just saying it's not fun. What I, part of any of, of, of these Looney Tunes stories are, is anybody like, wow, that sounds like a real romp. I can't wait to watch it and think of all the, oh, wait, you just keep telling me all the things that I'm not allowed to think about anymore. So the whole point of this fucking nostalgia play is also discounted. Cool. I guess I'll just wistfully think about my life and society. Thanks, Space Jam 2. I, uh... I definitely just went on a whole journey where you were uh, you vaguely mentioned like an entire soundtrack that can't be played because of problematic and i was just like what 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 and then just in the chat i see i believe i can scry yeah. <laughs> and suddenly i knew it was great i believe i can scry <laughs> Woo. Uh, i can believe. see my future and it's really fucked <laughs> I'm uh, trying to keep everything going for as long as possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's like, it's just a problematic, I guess that they were, they had begun at least the scripting of that movie before they realized the R. Kelly stuff. I wonder if they even dare have somebody else do a cover of it. Uh, I, no, I, I mean, they probably don't tr I bet they probably don't try to beat the original soundtrack, right? I mean, especially uh, if this is like what, gonna be kind of a streaming what thing. Are, uh, besides the R. Kelly thing, uh, uh, was there like some, what, Too Unlimited in there? Or, uh, oh, I don't, uh, yeah, I'm sure it was a bunch of jock jams. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The but Space no, Jam yeah, song. I, yeah, I, I, I believe I can fly. I mean, that's just the, it's iconic and it's iconic because it was in Space Jam. Like yeah. that was uh, uh, the biggest the biggest thing about it, and so it's like, uh, yeah. So now it's like we're gonna go into a movie where LeBron James is acting as the dominant protagonist throughout the movie, and it's not gonna be like the old one. And, and they cut it's out. It's not the gonna best have the songs where he does like, a PSA about consent. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it, it's, look, it is whatever it is. I'm, I'm sure everybody worked really hard on it. There's just like, there's like this steady drum beat about the movie. And it's like, cool. Like, it's certainly, I'm glad that you guys had these important conversations in making Space Jam 2. Uh, was, was there not another Space Jam that had Brendan Fraser in it? No, there was another Looney Tunes movie. I think it was Looney Tunes Back in Action. Uh, 
Okay, that yeah. was after Space Jam, so right. they but they did another live action person Looney Tunes. Yeah. That was Brent Brendan Fraser, Jenna Elfman, and Steve Martin. Looney yeah. Tunes back in action. He uh, man, that's a story. Uh, check out that Wired article where Brendan Fraser said, "I only said yes because I got to punch myself as an actor in the face because I hated everything I was." Also, after that movie, I vanished. Who are you? Why are you on my doorstep? It's me, Brendan <laughs> Fraser. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Fraser, what a killer, though. The, oh, those dude, no, those was, mummy movies were crushing great. it, man. Yeah. Yeah. What has he been? He's has due he been for a comeback. Lately? Uh, well, I mean, uh, like, like it was an intentional decision for him to peace out for a bit, and and that's part of what makes that 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 article so fascinating where he's just like uh yeah i hated everything about myself i hated the business i hated everything i represented i hated all the compromises i made uh uh uh, uh you're the one who's here in montana on my doorstep uh it's me brendan frazier uh and, and, and like to be clear you're um yeah <laughs> people uh, are saying he was in doom patrol which i've not seen but that seems like the oh, only shit. the only named thing I would notice on his recent uh, his recent filmography. God, if it, he's got like Netflix series or HBO or Hulu series where he's like a, a a a star vehicle writer, like he's got a big enough name that people would know it. Like, it, but but it, he would come at at a budget number that would make sense. I feel like people would be there for like a. Brendan Fraser comeback, I mean, man. I mean, definitely everybody would be all in, but but I think like genuinely he has no appetite for anything about Hollywood full stop. Like 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 he seems like from what I read in that article, it was like, ooh, this guy really, really, really doesn't like anything about Hollywood. But but you know, that's the thing, is that especially now, so much so little stuff is actually shot in Hollywood that I think was it like Steve Zahn? who uh, just doesn't live in Hollywood. Hollywood's like a place that he goes, and, and sometimes it's not even to Hollywood. It's to somewhere else where they're shooting the movies and just goes, does his thing, and then comes back, and it's just like a dad for the times that he's not off on a work trip. Yeah. Uh, here's an interesting one. I, I don't know if you guys saw this. This, this kind of broke a, a little late in the day. Um, it seems that Marvel Studios will be picking up and moving from Atlanta, Georgia to Australia. They will start shooting all those Marvel things down in Australia. Hmm. In uh, Moore Park's Fox Studios in Sydney. Uh, when asked for comment, Marvel said, you are joking. Holy shit, this does increase the possibility of a, a, a Auntie you Donna cameo. Oh, joking. That's um, a, that seems like a big move uh, if you believe that we are on the tail end of the COVID stuff since um, Australia had a pretty strong handle. No, on those, it. those things are all, um, they're all tax break driven so it's like who's ever handing out the most amount of money to shoot a movie at places then that's where they go that's why atlanta wasn't special for anything other than the fact that georgia had this tax insane breaks. tax credit right. credit thing yeah that's true also a uh, water tower that looked like a butt and i think if you're if you're one of the people that marvel is like courting to to be in these movies it probably is a bonus to be like, and you get to be in Australia for the whole time, which is probably pretty nice, I would guess. Yeah, I mean, depending on, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, 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 I'm assuming Australia is great. I'm sure some parts of it suck ass. Like, you well, know, I, mean, I don't know where they're shooting it. That. I would never. Uh, say that. Australia sucks. It Sp sucks a Spider butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider by Zero says, uh, check out uh, Natalie Portman's arms. Uh, I don't know if there's anything there, but it definitely gets us away from shitting on Australia. Oh, oh who cares? What are they going to do? Fucking, you know, spin their fucking sinks the wrong way? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Hop huh? on over. Well, what, what, are, what are they going to do? Get all their, their seasons mixed up even worse? What are they like, going to do? Be you famously you, racist? You, you, you can't be more worse than having your winter be summer and backwards. 
fucking Christmas Day and 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 Santa's wearing a thong. Fuck you. Uh, Natalie God is, damn. is incredibly jacked for Thor 4. Yeah. It's not a good shirt. I think people I think are going to be in. I sure. think people are going to be there for that. People are going to be like, fuck yeah. She's fucking got guns. I feel like they will. I feel yeah. like that'll be like a yes queen kind of thing. Right? Yeah, she comes back As, and she's like, I've been hitting the gym while you guys were out doing um, the Thanos stuff. Yeah, no, I'm I'm confused by your question. Are are people going to be there for it? Because like uh, uh, I I I I just went somewhere for about twenty seconds, <laughs> and it, it was in those called the big, certainly massive certainly arms. Cer- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a real departure for you this episode because you, t- <laughs> you've been you've been so dialed in the entire time. No, no, no. yeah. Right. I'll text you the link to this tweet, Brian. Uh, I'm gonna say sexy, not winter, <laughs> not winter. No, she's she's got like pro wrestler arms. She's got like female bodybuilder arms. I don't know. Do you think she's think she been skipping leg day, or she's got the she's got the 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 the, the thighs too? Think Let me put this way. I think, on, on the I think, I think she's three tweets away from getting fired by Marvel. Well, everybody's three tweets away from getting right. fired no, by Marvel. No. Yeah, I was, I was. Mm. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm excited for the movie. I, I just rewatched uh, Ragnarok the other God night. Damn, dude, it's so good. It's the best. It's the best one. It's the best Marvel movie, probably. Full stop. Um, I'm not I gonna say know. it's the deepest. I'm not gonna say it's the most epic. I will say it is the best. There is not one wasted second in that movie, except for the three minutes that they bothered to talk to Odin. Oh, no, that's like the emotional arc. Eh. It sets up the ending. Yeah. You know, it's like important mm. for the for where the characters are going. Mm. Kind of a... Just a storytelling. Just wasted time. Fuck. Like, I mean, that actually gives Anthony Hopkins something to do. He's like a famous actor. Uh, <laughs> just admit you eat people. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> it's like, that's all you wore to me. You're Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Brian watching Ragnarok in the theater. Don't listen to this guy. He eats people. Where's Sir, you need Clarice? to sit down. Sir, you Where's need to Clarice? You need to, she's in a different show. You need to sit down, sir. You want some more popcorn or So Alamo's not going away. I'm not moving to Austin and all the Alamos are going to shut down, huh? No, 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 no. no. I mean, uh, I mean it's like uh, uh, to be honest, it's it's a miracle that they were able to hold on this long until doing whatever restructuring they're doing or whatever. Hey, um uh that 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 Loki show, like that's just Doctor Who, right? They're just gonna do Doctor Who. I haven't only... seen any. Is there any like trailer or anything oh, for it? Or I just yeah, saw no, the picture. it's great. It's great. It's great. The trailer, um, uh, uh, Bryce you... prob- probably won't. Well, will you allow us to? Uh... I mean, we can watch. You could just ask if we can watch. Well, well, we well I, 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 I don't know. Like, like you have a very good intuitive sense as to what what flags things or whatever. Uh, uh, but, uh, but, but if you if you've not seen the trailer, the trailer's fucking awesome. And 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 I'm gonna ruin uh, your experience by by the filter through which I see it. It looks an okay. awful lot like Loki goes to space court and is found guilty of being a trickster and is sentenced to the job of being Doctor Who. Like, like that is to the best of my understanding, literally what this fucking preview is. It's fucking awesome. Uh, okay. I, All right. Uh, I was gonna try to not watch the trailer because I need to go into these Marvel things as blind as I can. But here is a trailer. Think. Also, it's so dope that the trailer. Oh wait, this is a different one. Okay. What, what trailer would you like me to show? Uh, oh, I don't know. I, uh, the one I saw like actually showed scenes from uh, Endgame in there, where it's like he gets the uh, the magic box or whatever, uh, the Tesseract. Well, I have not seen this one. Also, you know that place, though. You're taking me somewhere to kill me. No, 
I'm taking you someplace to talk. Where I like ah. to talk. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because we both know you love to talk. Talky, talky. How long have you been here? I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. I'm so in. I'm so in. I'm so in. I mean, look, uh, of the three premises that they had, the one I was least excited for was WandaVision, and it was one of the greatest things that I've seen Marvel put out. So it's like they've got uh, uh, infinite credit with me. I'm pumped. Uh, I, I don't know if the other trailer uh, uh, is is more along the lines of Doctor Who than 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 that one was, but uh, uh, I'm it, I'm it, cool it, it, it for just shows I'm like cool a, for whatever the hell that is. Yeah, it just shows a little bit more of like um, you know crazy vignettes, all of which I mean, and and it's even kind of telegraphed in the 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 Loki fonts changing or whatever, where it's like, hey, this is going to be a mismatch uh, mishmash of jumping to different you know crazy worlds. Yeah. Um I I. I, I I think it's a it's a cool premise i don't think i think all of the mcu shows that they're doing right now are going to all have the same bottleneck in terms of premise like uh remember when the first episode of wandavision came out and everyone was like oh man this is cool they should make a, a marvel x files because that's what this is and that's really cool yeah um but uh it's expensive to do that and you're not going to put a an a-list actor you know in a procedural right and so there's like is that really like where where does that come up that doesn't just end up being like agents of shield and so like loki doing doctor who like i bet they do have a good premise and a conceit for him to do it one time but i don't think that they make try to make like a syndicated show with tom hiddleston i don't know but i mean it's like uh, think of it as a best case scenario higher money sherlock right like where they they just do eight episodes and for the first two seasons they're pretty much like year on year and then you know if people are still into it and it's 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 a big hit then maybe it takes longer to do the third season or something like that but with streaming where you don't need to hit a, any kind of yearly cycle you're not worried about a movie release schedule you can literally push them like they did with uh one i think all our uh, in the original schedule i think all three of those shows should have been out already but right. the pandemic pushed everything back um largely because they were crushing it too hard and so disney was like let's not burn the fucking logs when the when the fire's burning as hot as it possibly can uh the uh i think they can it, it's kind of a perfect storm for it like you know because loki's a gigantic Tom Hiddleston character. Like what else can he do? That's going to get him as much attention and money as Loki. Will? Well, and plus also it's like, uh, what's the only bummer about playing Loki is, Oh, I have to be the bad guy all the time. It's like, what if you were the good guy? And it's like, uh, uh reading between the lines on that trailer, 
for whatever reason, he, you know, is sent on missions or whatever. And it looks an awful lot like he's doing a, a, a DB Cooper, you know, jumping out yeah. of a plane, hoping to run off with some money. And then, you know, uh, uh, Space Rambo hits him and it's like, ah, ah, ah. Your job is to be Doctor Who for us. Uh, there are other interdimensional crimes for you to solve. And uh, in which case, it's like, I'm all in. I'm all in. Mm. Although we're getting dangerously into the category where Brian invents a, a story in his head based on a trailer that yep. isn't explicitly spell, uh, 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 spelled out. Right. And then and I then get it, upset. And then it that unfairly out, affects. The yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're I'm, dangerously close to that. He's just saying now. there's going to be 30 years of Loki being yeah. Doctor Who instead of being yeah. in all the no, movies. It's definitely that's the case. And anything so if it's short definitely, of that will make if me it's very not upset. Doctor Who, yeah, if it's yes. not Doctor yes. Who and instead it's so it's some other kind of archetype, yes. yeah, yeah, then it fails regardless right. of right. the quality of yes. the of the final product. Also, uh, uh, he almost certainly like crosses over to Battlestar Galactica universe at some point. I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. And then the Wookiees show up. Yeah, Everybody say it for the Wookiees. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm not mad at WandaVision. WandaVision ended fine. Oh, you didn't like it? Why not? Um, Well... Because if it's a mystery show, that's not how you end a mystery show. Um, Is it supposed to be a mystery show? No, I guess. Uh, 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 as as I'm fond of saying, like like like, there's no such thing as a bad Wandavision episode. But that was. But there has to, by numbers, be a least good Wandavision, and I feel like we saw it. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, wow, yeah. I I totally disagree. I thought that they they had a lot of things they had to land. I thought they did a, a good job of, of, of landing them. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, uh maybe like, at, 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 at some point you have to shut off the new mystery fa faucet and start cleaning up the fucking puddle. And like, un unfortunately, uh, you know, some people who are addicted to the mysteries get upset about that but if you don't fucking shut off the mystery faucet you're jj abrams right. and you get frustrated because nobody's you have dealing a, with this a, fucking a, puddle. A forever onion yeah i um, mean sure but so, even then like i don't know as as a mystery i mean i think it does close the loop on what that story is but i i think that there's just a lot of stuff that is left uh just answered poorly you know, and uh, I don't think it's it's meant to be a sort of cerebral. Let's think about really what. Oh, well, actually, what is this? Oh, well, what? Like, wait, what didn't get answered? I, 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 I think the whole thing with the big bad character on that show just they just kind of say it's this person. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Well, um, I mean, I don't know. They they gave uh, at least for my for 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 my money they spelled out who she is, why she is, and what she was doing there, what her goal was. I mean, especially by the end of that episode, you you find out what her power is and yeah. why she would be there because that was that was the that was the move to make. I mean, it is certainly like if there's one thing that I will say is that for a show that especially for Marvel had a little bit more of a like obtuse like that show is about as close to like a like a Twin Peaks level obtuseness, or like we're we're deliberately shoving big confusing shit in your face uh, than Marvel's ever gonna get, right? Like I don't I don't think that anything is gonna be quite as abstract, and it is disappointing for a show if you liked it for that mm -hmm. for it to end with very Marvel like, ha ha, you forgot the. The, the this thing that we set up and so you can't tell us that we didn't set it up but that's why i got gotcha. you yeah. well witty banter like that was it was it was but, definitely there yeah there, there's a certain amount of just like there, there's only so much you can expect from from marvel i feel like um you know i think uh i i said this when we were talking about it on spoiler time but it does feel frustrating that it's like okay the mystery of this was unveiled by everybody talking about oh it's definitely this character from day one um and it feels like well you would think that marvel would be allowed to not i don't know not have to hew so close to the way the books are written such that there could be some surprise or 
I don't know. But there's that's a no win scenario. Right? Like for right. as far that's, ahead that's, as they gotta uh, fucking make that, like the internet's always gonna fucking go faster. Which just makes it frustrating to follow, right? I mean, we we all we kind of dived in head first with WandaVision, um and with with Loki coming up, that's kind of why I'm trying not to watch trailers or stuff because I wanna try and watch these and I wanna I wanna have a good time with it. And it's kind of all of the broader discussion that people apparently seem to like having of Oh, this person's definitely the bad right. guy. How does this like, fit into, you know, this this mostly completed jigsaw puzzle that we have in our mind? Yeah. And and so I, that I, gets frustrating because I wouldn't have known about that character. I would have thought that that character was suspicious, but I feel like it would have been a different experience if there wasn't six weeks of everyone saying this person's definitely at least one of the bad people in this show. I mean, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> in terms of the Internet stuff, uh, I, I kind of feel like the the people that were slamming the table the hardest about things that were definitely going to happen mostly came up empty. Like certainly the identity of the big bad was something that people understood was kind of being alluded to, but right. also Marvel's usually pretty good at like, they have characters that eventually may become this person that you know, and they have gone on these adventures uh, with, but you don't know for sure if that's going to happen in this story per se. Um, you know, I, I, I think that for them, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, I think they, they just got to tell the best story that they can, uh, and, and just sort of let the chips fall where they may, uh, in terms of the speculation. Uh, also worth noting, I think ICU, uh, was the first one in the chat that I saw saying, so it's like, uh, that was not the ending. That was, uh, you know, everything we saw is sort of preamble leading up to the next Dr. Strange movie. And if you, if you view it through that lens, they get a little bit of grace. I feel like, I mean, it's the end of that arc. You know what we what starts off so puzzlingly we have all the answers about at the end and our characters have changed uh uh you know the consequences have been levied and that's that to me was was the story you know like uh uh now the other shit that they tantalizingly left out there the fact that we didn't get fucking hard answers for and everybody wants to jump up and down about it i i think like well get used to it uh, these the, you know these are the new infinity stones and we're gonna be you know uh, uh gossiping about the like oh do you think that means that this is really an infinity stone or whatever like that's what this is going to be Can fucking suck it up for the next six years because that's what's going to happen Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I have absolutely no problem with um, uh, uh, in the comic books, everything sort of has their center, like a rubber band snapping back to their, you know, I don't know, equilibrium or whatever. And it's like you can stretch a little bit and now we're doing Secret Wars 2 crossover or, or whatever big you know, a, 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 a pan-dimensional thing is happening. But, but then eventually... You know, even though, yeah, we had one episode of G.I. Joe meeting the Transformers, as soon as that's done, you know, uh, everything snaps back to being G.I. Joe rules and Transformers rules. Uh, so it, I, I have no problem with uh, with with us not feeling the need to have some kind of weird, you know, retconned consistency with Infinity Story. Like, I, if I never heard about uh, Infinity Stone again, I'd be fine with it. I mean, I think we're gonna, and we did in in this in this series, yeah. right? But uh, no, I think it's more the the multiverse stuff, and and they're gonna strip, they're gonna string that shit out. Like, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Anybody thought that that was the end of? The, the the character that disappointed people anybody thought that that well, was the end of that was i think is you know kidding themselves because uh uh well obviously they can't, i mean that's a whole marvel thing is that nothing is gonna end and everyone in this series is gonna be in one of the next four movies or yeah. what have you but that's also frustrating. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm jaded. I'm jaded on the superhero stuff again. I'm super no, I, killed. I, I I will say that there is I'll put it this way. WandaVision is the 
fucking most closed loop shit we're gonna get in terms of Marvel television because because uh, they quite uh, literally they put on their Oculus Quest two, they drew a boundary around the town of Westview, <laughs> and then they played the game within that boundary, and then uh, and and then at the end the boundary went away. Well, yeah, that also because they're not gonna do a one division <laughs> two, right? right. Like and and that to Bryce to your point, not only were will Captain or uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, not only will that also feed into another movie, it will also feed into a second season. Like like and, and mm. they will lean all the way in on 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 both of that, and I would probably suspect Loki as well. So, um, you know that's. That's what they do. They they tell stories that lead to other stories, God. and it uh, and 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 all it's done is made them all the millions money. of dollars. Yes. <laughs> uh, man, I I hope, and I hadn't really considered this possibility until you just now said this. Uh, man, I hope that Loki's shit is all just a side quest. Loki shit. I I, I hope he just runs off to the no. side. Don't count on it. I know. Don't count You're on right. it. You're in right. fact, You're right. in fact, it's going to be the opposite. Yeah. It's going to be that. You're hey, right. you need to put the infinity stones in the right place because yeah. you're God doing time it. travel, God. whatever. And by the way, what's going to happen is if you really like it, then we're going to be like, well, why didn't they show up in the mirror? No, it'd be cool if this thing I like showed up in this thing I like. That's the that's Marvel's DNA. Because guess what? We fucking get so horny for it. We love it so much when the beep shows up to the bop. That's it. We You're... fucking, it, it, it's just, it's YouTube collabs. It's fucking podcast <laughs> guests. It's, 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 it's the binding agent is when we, when our, our, our attention is rewarded. When the fact that we did a thing is rewarded later, we fucking love it. It validates our existence, our, 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 our paying attention. You're not wrong, Walter. I think, no, I agree. Like, Justin is exactly right, and <laughs> that sucks. I don't, well, I don't get Bryce, excited by yeah. that. Which, I mean, it's just, is, which I'm not saying that anyone else needs to feel that way, but it's like, oh, cool. <laughs> no, I think that, that at a certain point, you it does, like anything else, it becomes a formula. And the reason why it was really exciting is because we grew up in a period or, you know, I grew up in a period of television and movies being so fragmented and disrespectful to those characters, right? And it could be any characters, but it was comic characters that the idea of bringing this shared universe together, the thing that was exciting in the comics was, was amazing. And now fucking not only is Marvel doing it well, but for a long time, but also everybody on the planet has tried to do it and beaten every inch of novelty out of it. So I don't blame Bryce. If you're coming from a, from perspective where you, you didn't have that scarcity element. Uh, and so therefore you're not like somebody who lived through the great depression that, you know, flattens out every piece of tinfoil they ever use so they can use it again. <laughs> uh, that you might just be like, what? Oh, I'll bet you fucking Captain Ding Dong shows up in Fuckwad's movie in two days. And guess what they do? And the entire crowd goes, woo! And there's Bryce fucking filing his nails because he's bored. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, did did you ever hear the sketch uh, that Norm MacDonald did about the uh, uh, Fantastic Four? Yeah, somebody sent it to both of us. It was yeah. fucking yeah. hilarious. Uh, uh, Bryce, I, I don't think you heard it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you would like it. And It's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah per, Norm per, MacDonald. Per, per the Dirk's Fantastic rule, we're, we're creeping up on midnight. I, I wouldn't mind going out. It's like uh, three and a half minutes long or something. But uh, but it's it's Norm MacDonald. Uh, uh, the Fantastic. origin of the, yeah. the Fantastic About Four. Minutes. Our heroes, flying in an experimental rocket ship, are assaulted by cosmic rays. Upon landing, they discover they have fantastic superpowers. Now, let's listen in and discover how Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm became the Fantastic Four. Okay, I was up all last night, and I think I've come up with a great name for the group. Since we all have such fantastic powers, I think we should be called the Fantastic Four. 
Ooh, fantastic. All right. That sounds good. I like that. Yeah, and I have come up with uh, individual names as well, if I may. Ben Grimm, Mm -hmm. you are a rock-like thing of a man. You will be called The Thing. Great. Sue Storm, you're a woman who has the power to make herself invisible. The Invisible Woman is your name from now on. Good. Johnny Storm, Mm -hmm. you are human, and yet you are a torch. Yeah. The Human Torch. The Human Torch. Okay. And I, Reed Richards, can stretch my body like a rubber band. I will be Mr. Fantastic. Okay, let's get on to business. First order of business for the Fantastic Four. Uh, Dr. Reed, Doom has the entire world's plutonium Reed, supply. And, uh, excuse me for a second. Yes, Ben. Um, uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what is it, Ben? It's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. Ben, we have to speak openly here. Well, it's just about the names. How do you like yours, The Thing? No, I'm, I'm fine with that. It just seems a little... Well, I'm kind of a thing of a man. You're calling me The Thing. Uh-huh. Sue is a woman who can become invisible. <laughs> She's the invisible woman. Makes sense. Johnny is human, yet a torch. So he's the human torch, right? Sure. And you can stretch your arms like a rubber band. Uh-huh. And you've named yourself Mr... Fantastic. Yes, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, seems a little, little odd, you know. Yeah. I don't understand the problem. <laughs> I mean, we're all named after our powers. <laughs> right. But yeah. your power is to stretch like a rubber band. <laughs> right? That's why I come up with the idea, Mr. Fantastic. It's a fantastic ability I have. Right. No, one, no one's saying it's not fantastic. I mean, many people, when they see me stretch... They often use that word, fantastic. I think what Ben's trying to say, Ben, right, is that um, we all have fantastic powers, but we're called what we do. Right. Yours is stretching. Maybe Mr. Stretch Guy. I was thinking Stretch. But (laughs) that's my name. Right, El Stretcho. El Stretcho. No, 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 not El Stretcho. (laughs) No, it's Mr. Fantastic is my name, okay? Now, if you guys have problems with your names, we can talk about it. My name is Mr. Fantastic. Let's talk about Dr. Doom. Okay? It's just not fair. It's not what? <laughs> you, okay. Ben, could, right? Could Fantastic explain? is a, an adjective that describes what I do. Well, why aren't we adjectives? You are. You're the Fantastic Four. You like that name, don't you? But individually. Do you like that name? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Ben, like could you so you like it when you're the Fantastic Four, but you don't like that I'm called Mr. Fantastic. No. Now, read. Just, just, just hear me out. We're the Fantastic Four. Right. You're Mr. Fantastic. Right. The Fantastic Four comprises the Thing, the Invisible Girl, the Human Torch, and Mr. Fantastic. Right. Doesn't that seem a little odd to you? What is it odd about that? Just because my name is Mr. Fantastic and the group's called the Fantastic Four. That's your problem. Because well, in a nutshell, yes. Yeah, I think that's... It's a coincidence. A coincidence you created. There's only so many names. Look. <laughs> the, the, the group's been named, okay? Why can't you be called like we are what you do, what your power is? Okay, I think we're saying the same thing. <laughs> I think we're saying the same thing. Okay, what are we saying? We're saying that we're fine with being, being called Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> different words, right? No, no. Read, look. What we're saying is you should be called Mr. Stretchy Arm. Listen. I the name oh, come the, on. the point don't... is the group has been named okay and that's that's it it's in All the news right. it's in today's newspaper as a matter of fact <laughs> what do you mean it's in the newspaper take a look the Fantastic Four headed by Mister Fantastic <laughs> will fight Doctor Doom today at three there you go <laughs> byline by Reed Richards <laughs> A.K.A. Mister Fantastic what? different guy that's a different guy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who that is, and I don't know how the press get their sources. Whatever. <laughs> Look, you don't want me to be called Mr. Fantastic? Okay, I won't be called Mr. Fantastic, okay? You can call me Mr. Assface. Come okay, on, no, don't. No, I'm changing my name. I'm ch- I'll phone the editor of the uh, uh, you know, the Times tomorrow, and I'll say, hey, I'm changing it to Mr. <laughs> Assface. Uh, you know, reprint all the newspapers. Okay? No, we don't want this. Don't. Come on, Reed. It'll be Mr. Assface and the Fantastic Three. <laughs> if it's that and important, the press will have a field day with that. <laughs> oh, all right, if it's that important, you, you're Mr. Fantastic. Just be him. Who cares? Okay. Yeah. So you... I'm Mr. Fantastic. Yes. Yes, you're all right, Mr. Fantastic. I'm Mr. Fantastic. Good. Good. 
What should we do now, Mr. Fantastic? <laughs> you don't say it like that. <laughs> you do not say it like that. All right, Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Okay, okay. <laughs> So good. It's a pretty good bet. Yeah. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, always a pleasure. Implemented. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody. Turn for the keys. Tuning in. We'll be back next Tuesday night. Uh, Monday, we'll have the shows again. Uh, Marbles is coming back on the 18th next Thursday. Hell so yeah. For that. Mm. Uh, we'll have some Bryce stuff on Friday night as well. All right, everybody. Bye. XOXO. See ya. Oh, you take that time off, I keep getting closer I don't care about getting late I just care about getting paid I got 24 hours for my seven deadly sins And you call them